The nominal group technique and multi-voting. The nominal group technique, or NGT, is a structured method for group brainstorming that encourages contributions from everyone. When to use nominal group technique. When some group members are much more vocal than others. When some group members think better in silence. When there is concern about some members not participating. When the group does not easily generate quantities of ideas. When all or some group members are new to the team. When the issue is controversial or there is heated conflict. Now let's journey to James Woods High School, where the local prom committee is trying to come up with a theme for this year's homecoming dance. Here, Mr. Smelding, the senior class advisor, walks in on a group of arguing teens and decides that this is the perfect opportunity to test out the NGT brainstorming method. Hey, 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 hey! What is going on here? Really? Trying to figure out the theme for the homecoming dance, but no one can agree on anything. All right, all right. Everyone to their seats. Well, let's try using something called the nominal group technique. I heard about this in grad school. Everyone needs a piece of paper and a pencil. Step one, state the subject of the brainstorming. Clarify the statement as needed until everyone understands it. Okay, okay. Now we are brainstorming ideas for a theme for the homecoming dance. I want you to write down as many ideas as you can think of. Make sure they're realistic on the piece of paper in front of you. You have about five minutes. Ready? Go. Okay, okay. Time's up. Look at the list you have created. I want you to pick one and only one. We're going to go around the room and share. Okay, uh, let's start with you. Step three. Each member in turn states aloud one idea. Facilitator records it on the flip chart. No discussion is allowed. Not even questions for clarification. Ideas given do not need to be from the team member's written list. Indeed, as time goes on, many ideas will not be. A member may pass his or her turn and may then add an idea on a subsequent turn. Okay, let's hear your choices. Snowball. Masquerade ball. The Oscars. Haunted House. Great Gatsby. Step 4. Discuss each idea in turn. Wording may be changed only when the idea's originator agrees. Ideas may be stricken from the list only by unanimous agreement. Discussion may clarify meaning, explain logic, or analysis, raise and answer questions, or state agreement or disagreement. <whistles> to save time, we're going to pretend the discussion happened. Great job, class. Now let's move on to multi-voting. Multi-voting. Multi-voting narrows a large list of possibilities to a smaller list of the top priorities or to a final selection. Multi-voting is preferable to straight voting because it allows an item that is favored by all, but not the top choice of any, to rise to the top. The prom committee has five choices. Each of the students has five votes. Each vote is worth a certain amount of points on a scale of one to five. Each student rates their top choices. The favorite choice is given five points, the second favorite four points, the third three points, and so on. Now let's say the students have voted. Let's see the results. All of the votes are tallied for a total score. Now let's see. Hey look! The winner is the masquerade ball! Hooray! Great job, prom committee. This has been a nominal group technique and multi-voting video presentation. Thank you. Have a nice day.